It's time to budget for July. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika. This is Well Bounce Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today, we are budgeting for July. And I think April was the last time I did a budget with me. So um, just to catch you guys up, everything pretty much looks the same. Um, I changed jobs. If you haven't seen that video, um, go check it out now and um i make a little bit more money but we're not changing our budget significantly i did add a hundred dollars to our buffer category so it's now 3600 um instead of 3500 just to accommodate the increase in spending money um that we talked about in april um and we'll get into that in just a second so let's get to the budget uh my screen looks a little bit crazy right now because it is july 1st so our um, electricity bill has already come out. Um, so you see the negative 245 right here, and then you see a positive 245 right here. This money actually needs to go into August, but I can't put it there because when I try to change the month, it goes away since it's overspent in July. So we'll fix that in just a second as well. So let's zero out the buffer category. Okay, so we zeroed out our buffer category. We have the 3,800 at the top, $245 is going to next month, and we'll do that in a second. So let's get started. Um, phone bill, we need $80, okay. Internet, 135, okay, for the electric bill. I mentioned in the last video that it has been very hot in Georgia so we have been running our air conditioner and then I think a little bit of it accounts for the fact that both of us are home now um, during the day but we neither of us use lights during the day because our windows are in a good position to put in sunlight so most of the time we don't have the big lights on during the day um, but we'll see how it levels out once the fall comes and that's how I'll determine what we really need to budget for electricity so the July bill, which has already come out of the bank account, um, was $264.77. So we'll just put that exact amount because we know what it is. So $264.77. Okay. And we had $19.72 left over from last month, but I'll just leave it there. It's fine. Okay, so now, since we freed up that $245, we can go to August and put it in the buffer category. So I think it was $245.05. Yeah. Okay, now let's move back to July. And that's just how you handle budgeting in the future in YNAB. You have to make sure everything's taken care of in the current month, no um, negative balances, and then you can move to the next month and budget everything out. Or in our case, we save it in the buffer category. Okay, moving on to gas. I believe our gas bill is going to go down a little bit just because both of us are home. I was driving to the office uh, five days a week and now I am not. Um, so we're going to keep it at 150 and just see what happens over the next couple of months. And we do have a couple of trips um, coming up too. So um, yeah, I'll just leave it at 150 the water bill last month it was $61.70 um, so let's just do 61 uh, for this one car insurance is 105.14 um, I am going to call our car insurance and see if there is any way to get the bill lowered especially since we're going to be driving less from now on so we'll see I'll see what happens with that as well life insurance uh, we need $31.88, but I do think this is going up $5 because we did get some additional coverage. I don't remember how much though. So we'll add $5 for now. And then uh, once I figure out what it is, I'll know going forward. Okay, student loans are not in repayment just yet. The gym, this is for my Peloton subscription. Uh, let's see, Apple Music. $37. Um, the mortgage is $1407.91. Okay, we already funded home maintenance and repairs. 
groceries. I don't even know what to do about groceries. Everything is getting so expensive. I'm gonna put the 350 here, um, but we went over that a little bit in June, and I don't know if it was because we were transitioning to our new normal or if it was because food is so expensive right now. I don't know. So we put the 350 and we'll see how it goes. Restaurants, we're gonna do the 150 um, that we typically have. Yeah, 150. Okay, so for spending money, in April somebody suggested that we use a random number generator to see how much spending money we get for the month. So that is what I'm going to do. I have my phone and I'm going to uh, talk to Siri. So I have my Siri on uh, the, the feature where you type instead of talk. So I asked for a random number between 25 and 75 and she said 46. So that's how much spending money we'll get for this month. So I'll put 46 here and 46 there. So that's why I had the extra $100 in our buffer category just to cover the amount that we would need if both of us were to get $75 each for spending money. Um, so yeah, $46 each. Sounds good to me because it's more than the 25 that we typically get. Moving on, household goods, it's going to be 100. Miscellaneous. I think we need a little bit more for miscellaneous, but we'll circle back after we fund everything. Okay, entertainment is 50. Spur of the moment is 50. Okay, um, schooling is already there. He is almost done with his uh, boot camp, so he should be done in August. I think we have one more 388 payment, and then we'll be done, so we'll be able to keep more money in our pockets, um, at least until student loans become due again. Uh, personal care, we'll do 50. Um, savings challenge, I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Come back for the update video next week and we'll talk about it. Christmas account, we do $20 per check and I think we get three checks in um, July, so we'll do 60. Um, we'll skip new car for a second. Uh, we do need money in our trips category, but I think I'm gonna circle back on that. Um, once per year. I think we're on track for that. We do have some medical expenses that are coming up, so I'm going to put, let's do 150 here. Okay, we have $176 left, so let's scroll back up. Let's do, okay, instead of going back to the miscellaneous, we're going to just add the rest here to the trips category because both of us are going on um, somewhere in July. So I wanna make sure we have enough money. We're not flying or anything, we're both driving to separate destinations um, and they shouldn't be too expensive once we get there. So this should be enough for now. And then once we get paid again, I'll add a little bit more here um, after we fill up our budget, our, our buffer category. All right, so that is everything. Let me know in the comments if you've already budgeted for July and let me know what fun things you have planned for the summer. That's all for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.